Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel My Deco Vibes. I do a lot of DIYs, upcycling and decoupage. But the one I love the most is making coasters and making new crafting friends. So make sure you like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss any good content. Today I am upcycling an old lamp or rather a candle stand which adds up to my home decor. It's a really easy project so let's get started. I have already cleaned it and then we'll begin with painting it with white chalk paint. I'll apply one layer of white chalk paint and once it dries I will be applying another layer. And here it is. Now you can see some um, unevenness on this so I will be using a sandpaper to smoothen it out. I recommend to do this very gently otherwise we may be peeling off the chalk paint. Here I have some pieces of decoupage napkin which I would be using it on the lamp. Uh, so let me first show you how a decoupage napkin actually is. This is uh, a three ply napkin uh, out of which I have like taken out two plies and will be we will be using only the top ply. With a drop of Mod Podge on your fingers it becomes easy to really separate these plies. So here I am separating the two plies. This is the first layer and the second layer. So it comes out very easily. Be very gentle with this. I'll just keep this away for now because we are not using this napkin. Uh, now with a drop of water on a paintbrush, I will just draw lines around the design which I want to use for the decoupage. And then tear along the edges where we have put the water drops. This gives a really um, fudgy edges. We really don't want any sharp lines or sharp edges because they don't blend well. I'll do this for all the pieces uh, which I have selected. For the next step we require some Mod Podge. So here I will be applying a thin layer of Mod Podge over the lamp. Make sure you apply a thin layer. Do not put too much of Mod Podge because this may, it may cause air bubbles or wrinkling. Now I will be putting the napkin over it and I'll just press it down gently with the help of my fingers. You can also use a brush. And then I'll also apply some Mod Podge on the edges to seal them properly. And I'll repeat the same for all the other pieces.
Now I'll apply some Mod Podge all over the area. This is how it looks. Now there are still some white spaces left so I'll be covering those white spaces with some um, acrylic paint. So I've taken some acrylic paint and with the help of a sponge I'll be dabbing it in all this leftover white spaces. The last step is to seal it with a sealant. Here I am using deco varnish and I will apply a layer of deco varnish over it. I recommend using at least 2 to 3 layers of varnish. It gives a really smooth finish to your project. And look how beautiful it looks. Do comment and let me know. Bye bye.